welcome back to the channel guys thank you for subscribing um this is not an unboxing video but um i have this uh just got it yesterday delivered from costco it's the firm um 3300 starting lot 3000 running lot generator um what you get in the package is you get the oil filler like a car battery or whatever charger and you get a spark plug wrench and a screwdriver so what i've done so far is um i've uh taken out spark plug and put in five milliliters of uh two stroke oil um so that's pretty much all i've done so far um it is 171 cc so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to get some oil and uh, fill this thing up with oil it's 600 milliliters so i'll probably put you on the tripod when i get goes get the oil in the other shed and we'll be right back so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this plug out actually hmm. I wonder if this wasn't used in return was it? because there's oil in this thing unless they tested it maybe at the factory yeah must not it seems like there's oil in it hmm anywho comes with a funnel like I said so so we got to break this uh, got to break it in which they they don't really say anything other than um, the first five hours they say is what they consider breaking it in however um, I usually like to break in any uh any equipment I got I likes to break it in by running it for an hour changing the oil uh, especially with a generator you run it without a load for an hour <coughs> and then uh, change the oil and then run it for another hour just to run it with maybe a 500 watt load so that uh, you break in the, the wine engine also they heat up and uh, cool down and get set sort of deal if that makes sense hope you guys uh, had your good holidays Got what you wanted from Santa. If you celebrate that sort of thing. Some people don't. I'm making my seat. I don't need a greasy butt. So 600 mils is what they supply you. 10W30. I guess changing the uh, oil, there's a plug in here and you can take out the bone and uh, let it go through the bottom. Here, across the road when you get to it. So 
So, six fingers in the middle. Like to make a mess and I don't add a rig. Let me get something. There. Of course, you, you're not really succeeding unless uh, you're making a mess. So, <sighs> let's put this in. I don't know if you, there's no saying the manual if you put it all the way in or, but that looks like a <clears throat> sufficient amount of oil. So now we will take this out and, uh, Put all uh, put uh, some dinosaur juice in there as taro fixes all say, and uh, crank her over and run her for an hour on idle. So uh, we'll be right back. <clears throat> it's on eco mode right now because I'm going to run it for an hour on eco mode at the lowest setting and uh, I put in 0.7 of a liter so that should give me an hour 700 mils uh, so that's pretty much it it's, the shed there is a little bit on a slope so maybe the not getting good carburetor is good, but maybe I should take it off of eco mode. But anyway, uh, we will come back in an hour. It took a little bit to uh, get it going. Hold a choke and uh, give her a few pulls and then close it. We keep doing that until it catches. But she seems to be going good there now. Smoked a little bit because I put oil in the piston. Um, but yeah, she's given 125 volts right now, so we shall see how this works out in the long run. Now guys, uh, I will say, for one hour, for one hour, not even quite an hour, that oil is, you can see, I don't know if I can get an angle on this, but it's very metallic looking. Um, yeah, it's very dirty. And there's a lot, yeah, like I can see a lot of metallic. Uh, I'm trying to get you in an angle that's going to show this. But anyway. You can see the pieces floating around there just after an hour and it's extremely dirty looking so it, oh yeah this is the last part that I took out and this is like very you can see it's settling to the bottom Very, very small pieces. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So, breaking in your, uh, any engine, in my opinion, breaking them in uh, is very important. Even though the manual says, oh, you know, it's just five hours, just run it and change the oil. And then, uh, after that, it's 50 hours, change the oil. Uh, to me, it's... And I'm not, I know I'm not the only one that think that because I've seen, I've known people that 
you know break in their uh their motors like that anyway i just wanted to share how uh, dirty that is just in case you were curious for the uh <clears throat> for the, uh, the last oil change for the last hour uh i'll run one of those uh collagen lamps 500 watt so just a, a small load not nothing big uh, for the break-in period and after that it should be okay one more all change and then uh, it should be uh, ready to go thanks guys okay guys this is uh, this here is the second hour that I have changed this and it is better it's better but it, it still got, you can, can't see, but it still has um, little particles in there. So that's the second hour, second hour change. So I'm going to do one more. Stay tuned. Uh, so, folks, that's uh, that's it for the uh, the Furman generator. As you can see right on your screen, thirty-three thousand starting amps and three thousand working amps, running amps. So that's all I do. I uh, that's how I break in my things, my uh, you know small engines and stuff. It works. It seems to work anyway. Maybe it don't make a difference. I don't know. But uh, I usually run them for an hour and change the oil. Run it again for an hour. Change the oil. And then I actually use it and put, you know, a load. Whether I'll cut the grass or if it's a generator, I'll put, plug something in there. Usually, a, you know, 500 watts or something like that. Um and then after I cut the grass, if it's a lawnmower, I just um, drain the oil one last time and uh, fill it up. Um, you know, see, well, and don't forget to put a little bit of oil, two-stroke oil I use in the spark plug when you first start it up when it's brand new and you assemble it or whatever. Um, I, I just think it really helps, you know. You don't get that dry start right off the bat. Help piston rings. And even when you store it, I know a lot of you guys puts a little oil in there. When you store your equipment, um, I don't on um, everything, but if it's going to be laid up for quite some time, I will. But uh, put five milliliters. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know um, it, it's a little sporadic, but uh, I had other things to do, so I was trying to break this thing in and i didn't want to leave it alone just in case something happened to it or whatnot so yeah thanks guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new and if not thanks again